Hey everybody, this is a quick video about how to mark up a PDF that your teacher is giving to you in an assignment and then turn it into that assignment. So what you're going to do first uh, on your calendar, you'll have some assignment that your teacher has given you. Go ahead and click on it and then it says read the directions. Make sure you read all of the directions. And then so what it says, it says watch this count a mini video. I'm going to pretend like I did that and then do this assignment. So this, you're gonna download that, and then it says press print when you're finished and choose save to PDF, and then turn it into this assignment. Pretty simple directions. So first, I'm gonna click this right here, and it's going to ask me to save that PDF. So it says one step algebraic expressions worksheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click show in folder right here. So I'm going to go ahead, open that up by clicking on it. It'll open it in a new tab. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and do this assignment. So what I'm going to do first is right here up in the top right corner, there is an annotate uh, tool. You can go ahead and select that tool. Then it's going to give you a few options. <clears throat> there we go. So first you've got your pen tool. Uh, you can go ahead and change the color. That might help your teacher see it. Um, and then you've got the markup tool and then the erase tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first equation right here, adding and subtraction. And so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pinch with my fingers. Then go ahead and select the pen tool. And then y plus 6 equals 20. Well, I already know that 6... 20 minus 6 is 14, so I'm going to say y equals 14. And then I'll go ahead and do this one right here. x minus 10 equals 12. That's going to be 22 equals x. Now, actually, I'm not actually using my finger. I'm using a, a cheap stylus that I got off of uh, Amazon. But it's totally up to you if you want to use your finger. Actually, I'll do that right here. So z writing isn't that much better, equals, well, 12 plus 3 is 15, so z equals 3. I'm going to make that so it looks looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I finished the whole page, pinch out, and then go ahead and um, press the print button up at the top. So press the print, and then I'm going to choose save to PDF. Now, this is actually really important that I want to point out one thing that I didn't actually write my name on it. So one of the great things about Canvas is that when you turn it in, it's turning it into your profile. So technically, you don't have to do the you don't have to put your name on it. So that's really great. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. There we go. And then I'm going to change the name. I can actually just change it, change it to me. You don't have to put it as your um, your name. It might be you, your teacher might like that actually if you do that. But um, technically, you could label it um, something that makes sense for the assignment. So um, you know, adding and subtracting equations or something like that. So press save, and now it's saved that to the files. So if I click here, this one right here, if I open that, you'll notice that my markups are there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back to the calendar, and I'm going to go to this assignment right here. So this is the assignment that I want to do. I'm going to click on the title of the assignment, and then I'm going to click Submit Assignment. So I'll go down here, click File Upload, choose File. And I'm going to choose that file that was the one that I actually marked up. So it's actually really important that you you um, put your uh, you name it something that's really um, that's different than the original file you downloaded. And then I'm going to go ahead and press submit assignment. And you should be done. 